Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Aiden. I'm Gaynor. I'm Sophie. And today we've got the biggest dogs in the world. We can do I'm this really because... really excited for this one. Office Bloke Daz is not a dog lover. He hates dogs. He doesn't hate oh. them. He's just not a dog lover. <laughs> and he's not a cat lover. No, he's not. He doesn't like not. animals. No, he's not. He's, he's, not yeah. an, he's not an animal guy. Yeah. Every time Declan tries to bring his dog, he's like, tell, tell him not to bring his dog. Yeah. That's the first thing he says Aww. when he finds out Declan's coming, is tell him not to bring his dog. He's actually not too bad now because the reason being is when I, he's called Elvis. Elvis knows he doesn't like Elvis. him. When Elvis was a puppy, obviously he used to run around and he just wanted attention. Bite very people's toes. Bite yeah. his toes. Oh, it was funny. And obviously he'd have so accidents cute. all over the carpet. So. Well, that's the main so, thing. So, it, so, yeah. yeah, so Darren was like, get that bloody dog out of here. Whereas oh, now he's him. a bit calmer and, and we know that, you know, you can open, leave the door El open. Elvis knows to not go to him as well because... He does. I think he knows. <laughs> he does. Does. Elvis <laughs> knows that Darren does not like him. Oh. Yeah. It's quite sad. But he actually will sit. I feel sit bad for him sometimes. Elvis. Yeah, he'll <laughs> sit. Uh, on the the corner of the rug, just stare at him like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit like something from Oliver, like, please, sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. more. <laughs> anyway, I love dogs. Yeah, I love especially dogs. Especially yeah. big dogs. You I like love, the, yeah. I like, like the, the big biggest dogs. of biggest dogs. When yeah. I go out, I'm going to get the, I'm going to get massive dogs. And what, every year from being a child, what was the top of your Christmas a list? dog. Yeah. Or the biggest teddy bear in the yeah, world. the biggest teddy bear ever. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm gonna get some inspiration off this video for which dogs I'm gonna get. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. Because I'm gonna get one that will like, on its two legs can be taller than me. Like a Great Dane. Yeah, maybe. Or a husky. Mm, a husky, mm. you're a bit too vocal, too loud. Yeah, yeah. Screaming yeah. and that. Yeah. Not me. What's I? Do you need you need a six foot dog that's quiet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that not Sylvia? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. A man's best friend, dogs. Those hairy little pups are the ones that always make our lives happier with their occurrences. Hold on. That's top of the list, by the way, for so far, Rottweiler for me. Rottweiler. Yeah. Little ones? Let's not generalize, because there are some that are surprisingly huge, as big as their heart. Top 10 biggest dogs in the world. Number 10, Lizzie. And we start our oh. canine top with a huge, long-legged babe. Oh, so it's the actual... I thought it was going to say the breed. I thought it was the, oh, a ten-top breed. I this, dog is, this dog is called Lizzie. Lizzie, so... Yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah. And it's, it's that. Individual. Are you sure it's not, it's not I don't think called a, a breed called the Lizzie? No, I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. That looked, is that a Great Dane? I think it looks like know. a Great Dane, yeah. No, I guess it'll tell us. Lizzie. The Slender yeah. Lizzie who is the current winner of the 2017 Guinness World Record title by crowning herself as the world's biggest dog. She's incredibly big, but do not be afraid. This huge, large white Danish with black spots can be an impressive 3.16 feet tall, but is tender, loves children, and above all, loves to walk a lot in parks to get- Just have his food on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> petted. Of course, if she gets a bit playful, she is able to stand on two legs and measure up to almost 6.56 feet. She knows she becomes the center of attention everywhere that she goes with her owner, Greg Sample, who loves to pamper her. She's the cocky one in the house. Press pause. I want it. Yeah, but you've got to remember the size of the bowel movements that dog's going to make. You drag it. You're not going to be able to just put your well, hand yeah, so in. Yeah, like a little tiny, like, yeah, cat like, poo, is it? No, but I'm saying with a normal size dog, you put your hand in the bag, you grab it, and you go on like that, and yeah. then tie it. With one of those, you'd have to have, like, a bin bag or two hands. <laughs> and I'd be like... <laughs> Never really thought about so that. So don't... <laughs> oh, mate, you should have seen it like, when so you last time uh, Declan's dog was about. I'd get a phone call when i get back, and she's like... Can you uh, pick up the poo that Elvis has done outside before Dad gets home? Otherwise, he's gonna go mental. <laughs> and then, as I'm like, as she's thinking about it, she's gagging down the phone, <laughs> and I'm like, she can't even see it or smell it. Jesus. And I just went out, picked it up, put it in the bag, and walked inside. Yeah, just like, yeah, that's fine. Hang yeah. on, you picked it up and put it in the bag. You didn't put your hand in the bag to pick it up. You meant to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I put my hand in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, the Harry Hong Dong. <laughs> In our ninth place, we have the reincarnation of a teddy bear, our furry friend Hong Dong, a beautiful Tibetan Mastiff who was over 3.3 feet tall 
and weighs 100. I was thinking about getting one of these, but this, uh, I think it's one of the most expensive dogs in the world. And the, and the, the, the grooming as well. what I was well. going to say, the grooming, like that hair would be all over. over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not hypo, hypoallergenic. It's like it's no, ginger, isn't it? Yeah, they are, yeah. the red. Aww. 78.6 pounds. In addition to its large size, <sighs> this boy is worth his weight in gold, literally because it is not only one of the largest and heaviest dogs, but also the most expensive in the world when sold to the astounding price of $1.9 million to a Chinese businessman. Just as you heard it, almost $2 million for a dog. We do not deny that Hong Dong is a beautiful reddish canine, but would you pay that huge sum to have him? No. With all that money, you could buy a Huayra Super Sports car with more than 700 horsepower, 200 vans, a private jet, or if you want, a submarine and everything just for you. They but if you thought trouble. that was the only expense mm. its owner did, you are <laughs> so wrong. That silky coat and huge size is not only for its incredible genes. It looks like a lion, doesn't it? It looks like a lion. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I can't remember what I was gonna say now. Yeah. Okay. Do not be delusional. Everything is thanks to the excellent food routine that has to be followed religiously, spending more than $4,000 a month so that Hong Dong consumes only a strict diet based on the finest lamb and chicken mixed with delicious Chinese delicacies. Let's admit it, he eats better than we do. <laughs> Number eight, Hulk the Indestructible. Although a single bite can rip your arm off, Hulk is an imposing American pit bull that jumped to fame not because of its aggressiveness, but because of its shocking size. At more than 176.4 pounds, it weighs three times more than any other pit bull and is more than 5.3 feet long from the tip of its okay, nose to the tip of its me. energetic tail. <laughs> so I think they, they have different names in different countries because some breeds are not allowed. So over yeah. here, one of those is called an XL Bully. Or it might, it's a similar type of dog. And, yeah. we went, and we went to Wales and this guy came in with his dog and he was sat behind Darren and Darren hadn't seen him. And this dog was just like looking around and then he just like, Licked his arm. Licked Darren's? Licked Darren's arm. I swear, I've never seen him jump up so fast in his life. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm scared of dogs. <laughs> this poor guy was like, sorry mate, like holding him down. And all he was doing Probably was struggling just, to hold him back yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and, right. and he was just like looking at him like, what, what have I done? I'm just being oh, affectionate. Oh, I know. <laughs> just saying hello. Oh, he's so rude to dogs, isn't he? Oh. That's funny. They can, they can sense... When, as soon as it like a dog comes towards him, he like gets rigid and like. <laughs> yeah, he taps his toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't think that he has managed to have that frightening image by consuming only special cookies. Of course not. That is for the other simple mortal dogs. Hulk consumes more than 4.4 pounds of the city's best ground beef daily, <laughs> along with dietary supplements to give it all the strength it needs to make the most of its workouts, with owner Marlon Grannon, a professional on-call dog trainer. While one of the Hulk puppies was sold for $30,000 just for being the direct descendant of the world's largest pit bull, Grannon has ruled out selling his cocky Hulk. But for its exceptional features, it is estimated that it would cost more than $250,000. That is, a quarter of a million dollars. A true canine jewel. Number seven, Boomer. At only three years old, Boomer has the great honor of being in seventh place of our top by measuring more than 3.3 feet tall and 6.56 feet long from the tip of his wet nose to the tip of his restless tail. And obviously, he makes the most of his great stature, because while other dogs must wait for their masters to give them water, Boomer simply takes it directly from the tap without having to make a big effort. The one who can, can. That, yes, that your slender figure does not confuse you, because what has it of great, it has of glutton, and according to its owner, in only two days, can finish a bag of 22 pounds of food. It's just that maintaining that 185.2 pound body is no easy task. Right, Boomer? I like that one. Number six, Gibson. And in sixth place, we have the biggest Dalmatian named Gibson, who was actually a Great Dane who was considered at the time as the largest dog in the world and was part of the Guinness Book of Records in 2004. 
His great popularity turned him into one of the most media-covered dogs of American television when he participated in diverse shows. He loved the cameras, and the cameras loved him. Its height was exceptional, 3.5 feet from its legs to the shoulders, and more than 6.56 <laughs> feet erect on its hind limbs. Almost the same size as Undertaker, one of WWE's biggest wrestlers. But don't worry, Gibson would not apply a dangerous trick on you. On the contrary, he was completely sweet. Unfortunately, bone cancer that took one of its legs and then spread throughout his body. Gibson lost the tough battle against cancer in 2009. We'll always remember you, Gibson. Number 5. Major One of the most cocky dogs of our top is Major, a dude of measuring 4.1 feet in height and more than 7 feet long, by always sleeping comfortably in a bed specially adapted for him, a king-size <laughs> mattress. He sleeps much better than any of us. And not only that, their owners are more than willing to prepare a special menu every day. Huge pieces of chicken with lots of rice so that he does not go below of its well-placed 220.5 pounds. What more can you ask for, Major? Number 4. Freddy And what do they believe? In this fourth place, we will also find a beautiful Great Dane, Freddy, who is 3.4 feet tall and 7.55 feet long if he stands with the help of his hind legs. Much larger than a grizzly bear. Although he is one of the cockiest of the house, his owner has confessed that taking care of him is quite a challenge. And it's no surprise, because in order for Freddy to continue to maintain his 198.4 pound weight, he must be fed large amounts of food. Weekly, he can consume without a problem more than 8 cans of dog food, 4 roasted chickens, 11 pounds of guts, and 11 pounds of chopped chicken. Number 3. Yeah. Zorba In our third place, we have one of the greatest of canine legends, the majestic Zorba. An English Mastiff so huge that he won several places in the Guinness Book of Records. He was crowned the world's heaviest dog at 343.92 pounds. And to top it off, he also <laughs> took the title as the longest dog in the world, measuring 8.2 feet from the tip of his nose to the end of his tail. Of course, although he was not considered the tallest dog because he was only 3 feet, thanks to his other achievements, he became the largest dog in all of England. <laughs> his place of origin. Number 2. George the Giant Although his photos looked photoshopped with him looking so huge, his large size made George to be recognized by the Guinness World Records 2010 as the largest dog on the planet, with a height of more than 3.58 feet and a weight of 244.7 pounds. When George gets up on his hind legs, he was 7.25 feet wow. high. But instead of being a defiant and impotent dog, he was shy and afraid of water. This big guy passed away in 2013 and left an empty spot for sure. It's got really nice co like coat on it. Like... Number I love like grey. Yeah, but also it's got to put a lot of pressure on the heart carrying that amount of weight and the limbs. It mustn't live. He's still got like quite skinny legs, mm. doesn't he? Yeah, so yeah. it's carrying that amount of weight on those legs. It must put a lot mm. of pressure. And back, the backache must I be know. killing him. Mm. Poor thing. Yeah. That's why they sleep so nicely. Yeah, so what do you it's think? That's why they normal. get given master beds. <laughs> Give them what? Master beds. Oh. <laughs> What's the number one, do you think? <laughs> well, I won't know the name of the dog, but it'll probably be another Great Dane or something. Do you think it'll be yeah. a Great Dane? I think a Great Dane. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Well, what's, what's the, you remember the movie Beethoven? Uh, Saint Bernard. Yeah, was it Saint, Saint Bernard? Saint, yeah. Or Saint Bernard. Saint, Saint Bernard, yeah. or yeah. The, I say, I'd say Bernard, but I think Bernard. it's Bernard. Yeah. Saint Bernard. I've Bernard. not seen one of those yet, No. They're cute. One. The Powerful Zeus. Oh, it's, Zeus. It's, a, it's a great name, 100% with the name yeah, Zeus. Zeus. <laughs> oh. My. Dog. Oh, it's a pug. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true god. It's no surprise he was named Zeus. This huge Great Dane had really shocking measures. 3.64 feet standing on four legs, 
and 7.22 feet leaning on his hind legs. Its huge size made its name to be embodied in the 2012 Guinness Book of World Records as the largest dog in the world. He was always looking energized and very slim despite maintaining an excellent weight of 154.3 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. But we say, well, you wouldn't want to be that cat, would you? Like, no. ooh, Jesus Christ. That, that cat could probably kill it. Yeah, it could. It can yeah. be evil cats. Yeah. Cats are very evil. Yeah. They are. Their cats are evil. We must emphasize that this is one of the primordial characteristics of the Great Dane, because Zeus always had a voracious and insatiable appetite. All a glutton! Unfortunately, he died two months before he turned six years naturally. Uh, Goodbye, cowboy! Yeah. That's the thing with them. Yeah, they, almo they almost die quite young. Yeah. yeah, dogs do. Cats seem to live for like anywhere between 12 to 20 years. They yeah. can live up to, whereas dogs, no. you look if you get 10 Especially years. great big ones like that. And yeah. also, yeah. Our, our bulldog bulldogs don't last very long. They have a problem no. with the breathing. Yeah, that was because yeah. he was in one of the hottest countries in the world and he already had a problem with his breathing. Yeah. yeah. My friend, wasn't helping. The weather wasn't he rescued helping at all, was it? A, um, a British, bull, yeah. British, 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 yeah. British Bulldog, yeah. and his mum's also got two of them, the, the brothers, and honestly, like, they said... They're so once, lazy. That's what I mean, they, just, they can't even take him when for a used, walk. When we used to walk Winston, he used, we just had to drag him across the floor at yeah. certain times. He'd, he'd stop, <laughs> and he'd just be like... <laughs> Lay there, and then after like, like 15 minutes, up. you'd be like, we've got to go, and you'd try and pick him up, and he was so heavy. And that's yeah. the thing, because they're yeah. so dense as well, it's yeah. like... You just refuse to move yeah. sometimes. You're like, what can you do here? <laughs> we, luckily, we were, we, we were luckily able to leave the back door open so we could just go in and out when he wanted to because yeah. everybody was yeah. scared of him. Nobody would break into the yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, dog. But really, just lick him. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, I enjoyed that one, though. Yeah. yeah. You probably won't get any of them dogs, though. No, it's too big. Does it put you off? Yeah, I would want, mm. I would want one that's like... Like a big and fluffy, yeah. Oh, not that big, but still big, like a, like a, a Rottweiler size. Or a, yeah. just, I'm going to get a Rottweiler in or general. Or an Alsatian yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. Alsatian's quite nice, I think. Yeah. Is that the same yeah. as a Labrador as well? Thingy, they're nice. Or a Golden Retriever. A Golden Retriever oh. and Labrador's the same. Yeah, no, they're not. Well, well, they're similar. One's a bit furry than the other, but yeah. they're the same yeah. kind of. But you're, yeah, the Alsatian is the same, same as the Same as the German Shepherd, yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Anyway, I like hope you guys one. enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.